Do you buy vinyl? Hello everybody, my name is Jonathan Davis. I sing for the band Korn, and I'm here at Amoeba, this amazing record store, and I'm sharing with what's in my bag. This is the kids, but I all I do is watch cartoons. Mickey Mouse, volume one. No shirt, no shoes, no service. I'm trying to run a classy establishment here. I'm just a big old kid. I'm like a, a grown-up kid. And I'm at my studio. I just have them on 24/7, and I love all of them. Totally on the other side of the spectrum, Salo. <laughs> Listen, you insignificant, wretched nothings. You are here solely for our pleasure. Expect none of the kindness you knew in the outside world, like liberty or the ridiculous idea of showing pity to others. There's some really crazy shit going on in this movie. <laughs> if, you, if you haven't seen it, you don't know what I'm talking about. You've never seen no. it? This is based on 120 Days of Sodom by Marquis de Sade. It's like World War II Germany, these Italian rich dudes get these kids from these villages and they take them to this castle and they have fun with them. It's really intense. This is one of the most crazy movies I've ever seen in my life. Some Rick and Morty stuff my kids picked out. Pickle Rick! And that's Goku. Goku Black? Okay. Oh, this is a killer CD. I wouldn't want to get this. I had this on vinyl when I was a teenager. It's Christian Death, uh, one of the first records called uh, Only a Theater of Pain. This was my first like goth record, kind of like, other than Cure and shit like that, but this was really goth. I remember just many a nights staying up all night with some headphones on and the vinyl and just listening to this. I really love this, this CD. I'm glad I found it. So like all the CDs I found are like ones I haven't seen forever that I want to own. This is another band that I love called Dead Can Dance. I love this record of Passage in Time. It's really just otherworldly. They use other kinds of instruments. This band really heavily influenced me in making my record. Just all around good record if you want to throw on and just escape. I love the, the girl Lisa Gerard, who's the singer, girl singer in this band. She has a voice of an angel. She's just over the top. I found this because I lost this. This is one of my favorite albums of all time, Nine Inch Nails, Downward Spiral. It's pretty much self-explanatory. It's just a dope-ass record. You can't fuck with it at all. It's just, I can't, I don't know what else to say. It's just a dope-ass record. This original issue one of my favorite soundtracks ever. It's just called Passion by Peter Gabriel. He did it for The Last Temptation of Christ. My violinist that played in my band on my record and recorded with me was Shankar plays on this record. He was Peter's violinist. He played for Peter, he played for Frank Zappa, a lot of different people. He had a band called Shakti back in the day. Shankar is amazing. It's a, it's a sick, sick soundtrack. Corn. <laughs> <laughs> when you ask me why I would buy my own shit, I don't have this. This is the corn. It's one of my favorite records, Path of Totality. And this is the deluxe special edition that has, we did this thing called The Encounter where we performed in a crop circle. I live in Bakersfield, um, it's a big wheat field. We had these guys from London fly over and stomp out a 700 foot crop circle and we set up in the middle of it and played it. We, we were inspired by 
Pink Floyd's Live at Pompeii when they did in the, in the Coliseum, there was no one there, so we did the same kind of thing. It was really, really cool, and this is on here. CDs are just nice to hold something. Sorry, dating myself, but it just really is. <laughs> That's what's in my bag. Thank you for talking with us today. Hope I did all right. Yeah, you did great. All right, cool.